Visco girl. What the heck is a Visco girl? I didn't even know about a month or two ago. Listen, I had to do my research. Even working around kids, I didn't quite get it. I seen the styles, but I didn't know it had a name. Today, we gotta talk about Visco. We'll get the highs and the lows, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you know what, we'll get a little rant off our chest as well. But first. What are you waiting for? Interact with us. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. Your ideas might inspire the next show. So, a Visco girl is a high school young adult fad. Visco girls love selfies, love social media. They are a little bit environmentally conscious. They are very brand. They love filters, especially from cell phone app Visco, hence their name. How can you spot a Visco? You can spot them on social media with all kinds of pictures of themselves, but in real life, you're looking at somebody who's dressed really comfortable. They got checkerboard vans or, or Birkenstock sandals on. They're wearing some type of gym short or sweatpant, maybe some comfortable jeans, an oversized t-shirt that may be a little bit stylish. They never leave home without some scrunchies. When thirsty, when exercising, they always have their trusty hydro flask with them. And usually it's adorned with some stickers that tell you a little bit about who they are. Named a number of brands. A lot of times we're looking at Nike shorts, Birkenstock sandals, or vans. Listen, these people are brand loyal. And if you look at those brands, what do they actually tell you? Middle class America, maybe upper middle class America. These aren't the top, top of the lines that aren't accessible to everybody, but they aren't Kmart. Something else that sometimes you see is like a mild environmentally conscious person. They might drink out of the paper or metal straws to save the turtles. Save the turtles, save the turtles. I need somebody to break this down even just break it down even more than I can. And whether it be that football cat, daylight savings, or ridiculous Halloween treats, there's none better than my man. Ladies and gents, Rants with Rogers. Well, hey guys, Matt here. Thank you for tuning in to Rants with Rogers. Some of you may not know this, but I'm a dad. And if you're a parent, you know how difficult it can be to communicate with your kids sometimes, especially if you've got a pre-teen or a teenage daughter, which reminds me, hey honey, can you go ahead and uh, empty the dishwasher? And he asks, um, hi, you need some new. No, the, the, the dish. Oh, this? This is my new hydro flask. I mean, I have one. Um, how do you make your friendship bracelet? It's kind of weird. No, it needs to be empty. the turtles. I noticed that you don't have a scrunchie, but do not fret because I haven't have an extra. Do keep that, do not worry. You gotta get the dishes. Yeah, this is my new lip gloss. Um, I apply it like five, ten times a day. Yeah, uh-huh. Anyway, so the truth. What? So if you want a humorous look at how difficult it may be to talk to a teenager, hop over to Rants with Rogers. I'll put the link but below. But let's do this. Can we compare these young ladies that like taking pictures. Can we compare these to other movements, subcultures, or just trendy groups that we've seen teenagers and young adults uh, throughout history? Your Viscos, very comfortable dress, very brand loyal. They love social media, environmental issues. What could they reject? A lot of because of who teenagers are, they are trying to form their own identity and they're saying no to something that's somewhat traditional. Maybe they're saying no to success guilt. Hey, we're gonna wear these nice styles. Our parents make decent money. Maybe they're saying goodbye or rejecting the notion that things have to be horribly uncomfortable and tight and fitted and you know, there's all kinds of body image issues going on in the world. Maybe they're saying goodbye to that because you know what? A lot of what they wear is very comfortable. Maybe they're rejecting the one-dimensional mean girls, you can't sit with us, you can't sit with us type of social structure that sometimes exists in high schools. But let's take a look at some other groups. You remember the 1920s? One of the most epic teenage subcultures, young adult subcultures, the flappers. The flappers bobbed their hair cut their hair short. These young ladies wore loose fitting clothes with maybe tassels or things that bobbed up and down and flapped around when they did their dances. Makeup, smoking cigarettes in public, these are all things that made the flappers 
not just a fad, not just a trend, but that was a subculture, maybe even a counterculture, if you will. The people who dove into this movement came from upper middle class affluent families. Huh, that sounds familiar. A lot of these groups are spearheaded by middle class or upper middle class America. A lot of these groups either passively or aggressively reject tradition or common conventions of the previous generation. So, are Visco girls going to be as historically relevant as the flappers and the hippies? You let me know in comments. Do I think? I don't think so. One, flappers don't have a male counterpart to engulf the rest of the whole generation. Two, their love for brand loyalty and social media, you can see that in actually a variety of groups. It's nothing unique about that. Yeah, even though there are some things like metal and paper straws and so forth, some of the stickers on their flask, they are not really like, you know, uh, idealistic warriors. They just have some thoughts. They might share them on social media. But to be honest, the entire generation is sharing thoughts on social media. Share, share, share. Tell me what you think in the comments below and we will continue to bring you excellent content. Like, share and subscribe. Please leave your comments and question and we may tailor the next video to you.